and then all of a sudden, boom, five damage straight to the face. What's up guys, Andrew657 here, and today, since we don't really have any new Magic the Gathering news going on, I am thought we are going to take a trip back down memory lane and go look at the top three uh, standard decks that hold a place near and dear to my heart. Now, I know I'm not your typical Magic the Gathering channel just opening up boxes and boxes of cards for you to look at, but hey, I want to do something different. I want to do something that's a little more nostalgic, a little more to the heart, a little more personal than just opening boxes of cards or smashing things or creating drama. Let's get into this. Now, one of the first standard decks that I ever ran out of Friday Night Magic that actually won some games was back in Theros. Now, I actually started playing Magic the Gathering during the Return to Ravnica set. I'd never really played any any of these magic uh, or trading card games before. My wife started playing it, and we had some friends who had played it before. My wife taught me how to play, and once I learned how to play, I have that that you know that competition bug. I have that collector bug. I want to get you know, uh, I have that you know, I want I want in. When I'm into stuff, I get in. So therefore, I got really into Magic the Gathering. I got really into Return to Ravnica. I played a lot of decks wasn't really that great. I didn't really know the whole thing about net decking and all these other kinds of things. And these aren't necessarily net decks because obviously I didn't have the money to just jump in to buy all these cards either because like most of you guys, I don't have money to just go and throw around into every single deck that comes out. But one of the first decks was piloted by Jeremy Dizani in the Pro Tour Theros in 2013. Yes, Theros. Remember Theros? Gods, Greek stuff. It was so cool. Now, one of these major things that we had was a Cloudfin Raptor, Frostburn Weird, Judges Familiar, and you would stack up all these cards to throw out Master of Waves, and when he would enter the battlefield, he just made a crap ton of tokens. And it was awesome, especially if you had uh, Thassa out there, Indestructible 5-5, five five, that could be swinging out there too. I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to all these deck lists down below so you guys can uh, go back and maybe you can make these on X Mage or um, maybe if you want to play um, with your friends you can just proxy it up because uh, I'm, I'm a strong believer in proxies I mean I know not everybody out there is going to go and, and buy cards just so you can play at home on the kitchen table we can just print them off your computer or just write them on a piece of paper right so anyways um, it was such a great great deck I mean I had Actually, when I opened my Theros uh, pre-release, I had two Thought Seizes. And I decided instead of holding on to those and playing them, because I really didn't understand that card at the time, I traded those two Thought Seizes in and got me most got me most of this deck. I got me the Thassas, I got me the Master of Waves, and a lot of other great cards um, that go into this deck. And basically, it's just it's a, it's a token generator deck. And you get all your tokens out, and you have Thassa, and you know before you know it, you're swinging hard. You're swinging with a lot of damage. Now these are the kind of decks I like. I know a lot of people call them glass cannon decks, and that's really what this is. You know, it's an all or nothing kind of deck, and you, um, which is you know kind of the way I live my life. You know, you go all in, you know, and and whatever happens happens, right? <laughs> so number two on. Um, my favorite decks of all time is going to be the red blue insole artifact deck. Now, red blue is my favorite color combination. I like the intelligence of blue, I like the passion of red. That's why I'm a crazy mad scientist in the Is It League. Uh, this deck had a lot of great things, mainly uh, was the enchantment of insole artifact for one in a blue. It is a uh, it's an enchantment aura, you enchant an artifact, and that artifact becomes a 5-5 five, five creature. Artifact creature, right? Yeah, artifact creature. In addition to its other types, and um, you could throw that on a zero uh, uh, cost ornithopter, 
and all of a sudden in the air you're swinging for five five you know turn two or you can even put it on a what is that land oh they don't have this land in that deck there is um there's an indestructible land i'll put it over here because i'll forget but anyways there's an indestructible land and you can put it or indestructible artifact land and if you put insult artifact on that then you automatically have uh five five indestructible you know and you can do that turn two so once you do this it automatically puts them on like on a four turn clock because you're swinging for for five you're swinging for five every turn and unless they have stuff to block it they're going to get wrecked too uh hanger back walker was in this uh too at the end uh, Chief of the Foundry, you have to whirl the rogues to put out more tokens. Uh, Shrapnel Blast, uh, all you had to do was play, play that and you could sacrifice one of your Thopters or Ornithopters. Um, and then all of a sudden, boom, five damage straight to the face. And last but not least, our Dilly recently departed Ramanap Red. And I guess one of the, 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 the hardest thing about this deck was saying the name Ramunap, Ramunap, Ramunap Red was probably the hardest thing uh, in this deck. Now, it was, this deck is another fast paced deck. I, I killed so many people on turn five with these. Um, you got, uh, you know, uh, Urshik or Kenra in there. You have uh, Hazaret. Uh, Rampaging Ferocidon before it got banned. Uh, Ramanap Ruins. I remember getting one guy down to like two life, and it, you know he passed. You know it was his turn. He passed it back to me, and I was like, "You seriously? You just passed me back? To, you have two life? I have Ramanap Ruins. Like I will, I kill you with land." And he was very upset. I mean, he was a legacy player. <laughs> he got killed by land. Never saw it coming. It was hilarious, and he always remembers that when he sees me now. But anyways, guys, I mean, this was such a great deck. Chandra, Torch of Defiance also in this deck. Uh, lightning Strikes, Abrades, Shocks, everything you could get straight to the face. I think I also played a Flame Lash uh, in my version of this deck, and um, a few other things, maybe. No, I, I had added the, the Ferocidon as well, and Carry Zev. Anyways, guys... Thank you so much for watching. We're all out of time, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.